What's up, everybody? Back at it, Beast, ya boy. We are gonna go over why I think y'all shouldn't panic. It's ETH has dipped to 1780, 1770, 1776, and Bitcoin has dipped to let's see, um, 53,000 flat. That is not a reason to panic, and I'm going to show you why. It's not China selling, it's not retailers selling, it's the miners' outflow, and it's the daily dip that I tell you about in every video. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Here we are on CryptoQuant. Let's look. March 4th, 6,800 dip. March 5th, 5,000, we started rising, 2,000, we started rising again, we had a little dip, then we had a little major dip yesterday, and today we are back at it with 3,200s, Bitcoins dumped, it's basically 2,000 less than yesterday, and yesterday we dipped again $100, today we dipped again $100 in at least Ethereum, Bitcoin we dipped at like 1,000 to whatever. But this is the reason why we are dipping. Now let me go back here. Let me go back. It's so serious, I guess, today that I didn't even play I didn't even put the music on. But anyways, let's go back. Let me show y'all the daily. And here we are again. Let's go here. Let's look. March 8th, 5900, and then today we are at 3200. That is like basically the average of what they've been doing for the past. Well, this is all minor, so what, not just F2 pool, this is the average of what they've been doing, and they have released 3000 today. Now let's go and put some music on. Yes, I'm in bed again. I've been lazy lately. I always don't want to make videos because sometimes the amount of views I get is depressing. <laughs> so, but I know it's helping people out, so that's that's good. And it's helping me keep track of what's going on. So let's get to it. Hopefully we can grow these followers and let's begin the TA. Alright, there is a glare, so I'm going to put this like that. It's pretty bad still, but oh well. Alright, so it looks like Oh, well, that's crazy. It looks like the line I drew yesterday actually followed. Is that crazy or what? You can go back to yesterday's video and you will see I drew this line and it actually followed that line. Now, if that's not enough hope for y'all, I told y'all we would end up going between this channel. If that's enough, not enough hope for y'all, I don't know what is. Let's go into the minute. We are, that is crazy. Let's go here. We are trading at the moment right on the line. We are constantly going up and down on the line, but we are Used it as support and then it went fell down but came right back up found resistance but now it's breaking above it now what we need to do is uh, yeah, yeah. let me just draw a trend line anyways let's just draw a trend line here let's do here what we need to do is follow these this is not this is a quick trend line I drew but we need to follow this and not break this this is an ascending wedge right now if we just keep following this and don't break it, we should be good. Let me go here. All right, all we need to do is follow this till we can reach our regular trend line and continue on to that. Which shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. 
Now we could also draw a line right here that shows our previous support acting, previous resistance acting as support now. Line, trend line, here, right here. This is our previous support. Now it's, let me draw it like this. It's acting as, previous resistance is acting as support. That's good. So our support is at 1750. Ooh, I mean, we only wicked down to 1750, 1758. So we only wicked down to 1758, which is fine. That's 1760. That's what we also held as a support. That's healthy. This is healthy for us guys. All right, now let me go into our four hourly candles. Wait one second, let's go, let's have a look at this actually. Let's see if we find any patterns. All right, so what I am seeing, we might actually be forming a diamond formation. Let me draw it out for y'all. Diamond formation, it's kind of an ugly one, but if we can break it. Right here. Right here, bam. Let's go from this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's draw it from here. Down to here. It's more of a triangle. So right now we will probably break out of this pattern and we might actually follow this. If we follow this, we are looking at a, let's see. Now don't be surprised if we actually follow my, this line. But if we do break out and go here, we are looking at 1900 by tomorrow around 12. Let me try to zoom out even more. All right, yeah, so we are looking at 1900 by even, yeah, around tomorrow at 12. Which is good. Now let's go back to the four hourly. And let's go back to our last dip when we hit. Oh my God, why do I keep doing that? All right, let's just draw the trend line. All right, now let's go back to our last dip when we were around this price range, which was here. So let's zoom into here. Let's go here. Now, let's pretend we don't, we're not even in that space. Let's not pretend, let's pretend like we never even knew we hit those. Let's go here and let's stop right here. All right. So what are we looking at here? This is, I know it's a little bit blurry for you. Oh, sorry. All right, it should be good enough. All right. So 1873, as you can see, 1873 back then was a big resistance for us. Look at all the times we had gotten rejected from this point. Look at this. We went here. This is, uh, oops, let me go here. All right, so this is 17, 1768. All right, so we hit, we went down to 1498 what 1491 where was everyone when this happened now we went back up 18 1868 now guys do not be surprised if we do another one of these i don't think that's going to happen but if we continue getting rejected see this is 1793 if we wick up to about 50, 1850 and then we get rejected again and go all the way down to 17 and we start slowly, like this was 17, 70, 17, 40, 17. Then we go up here, we make a lower high, 17, 13. Then we go down. We can go possibly to around 14. I wouldn't say 14-ish anymore. We'll probably go to 15 to 16. We'll probably go to 16 and then we will shoot back up. That might be a possibility. So do not long anything right now. This is not financial advice, but from last cycle of last uh, push from our last leg, 
it looks like we had some resistance at the 1780 level. Now, once we break through, let's see here, we went back to 1838. Wick down again to 16. All right, so I think we're going to actually go to 1660 this time. 1660 is the lowest we will go. And then we will probably go up and break through at 1670. And then from there, I think this is about a 2.5% increase. I think we should... We should see the same thing play out here. Now, I don't think we've tested 17 enough. I think we've gone past from 16 to 17, but fairly quickly. I mean, look, here we were at 16, 17, 17. No retest of this area. So let's go over here and draw the Fibonacci retracement from let's just say right what is this number yeah let's try the fibonacci retracement from right here yeah, come on. and from here let's put it right here so right now we are seeing a retracement of what from 1879 we are seeing a retracement uh, of about a, this is like a five to ten percent, not even it's ten percent retracement, which is like a hundred dollars. So it's like a five percent retracement. I say we are on the third leg of retracement. One, two, three. I don't think we're gonna go down to here. The 618 retracement level is very key. We shouldn't be seeing that get retraced. It almost tested it, but it didn't. Now, if we can just f use find support right here at the 38.20% level and rise up, we should be fine. Now, the volume is pretty low right now. Let's see what type of orders are coming in. Let's see, the buy order. There's more buying going on than selling, that's good. But as we saw earlier, it was because of CryptoQuant. Now let's check. Let's check CoinGecko real quick. All right, let's compare from yesterday to today since everyone's freaking out. 971, remember that number, 101, 208, 838. I might forget that number, so just keep them in mind. 971, 208, 88. We are way better than yesterday this time. 208, we are slightly down on Ethereum. So everybody relax. Bitcoin is slowly rising and we, Ethereum is starting to steady out. This might just mean Bitcoin is about to rise and we are going to slowly start s seeing the increase now. That's usually what happens. Bitcoin's, I mean, Ethereum slows down, Bitcoin starts to rise. Let's see the fear and greed index. Oh, wow. We are in 68. We are way less greedier than yesterday. And look at that, y'all. We are starting to rise. Let's go look at the one hour. We are starting the rise back up. My line I drew was perfectly on the line. And now I predict it's going to go up. Now, if it doesn't go up within the next 6 to 12 hours, then we might have a problem. Then we might be facing a resistance at 17, and then we're going to have to retest 16, retest 17, then retest 18 again. I mean, that's not bad. It's just a slower process, but it's better in the long run anyways. Now, let's look at tweets. I don't know why I want this guy from yesterday. Ethereum. We are an Ethereum heavy. I didn't even spell it right, did I? We are an Ethereum heavy channel. Ethereum is the coin we want to boost.
billionaire buys Bitcoin, another billionaire buys Bitcoin, a billionaire sells an NFT for ETH and dumps it for Bitcoin. Only the dumbest retail market buy Ethereum for investment purposes. Okay, buddy. Let's see what people commented. Truth, ha ha ha. Sadly, I'm finding it buying Ethereum and promoting it. Okay. Whatever they say, that's what they said about Bitcoin. The more haters you have on Ethereum, the better it is for us. Gains on ETH will be biblical this year. Okay. So we've seen everything for the day. Anyways, y'all, don't be scared. The market is moving just fine. It's not China. It's not the retailers. It is CryptoQuant telling us it's the miners. They're pushing the last bit of mining Ethereum, that Bitcoin they have. It's causing the price to fluctuate. It will be back where it is. And all right, so if you want me to be realistic with you, if we start seeing anything below 1760, which is our level of 6.1, 618 level for Fibonacci retracement, then we should start getting a little bit worried. If we test it, it doesn't go up. We test it, it doesn't go up. Then we are going to probably drop to around 1600. Now, if we go all the way up to 1840 and we hit again, 1870 even, let's be safe. If we go all the way to 1850 and we start looking like we're facing resistance, but we break it, all right, then it's okay. If we face that resistance, we go down, but then wick again and go up, but then go down again, then I would say take your pro this is not financial advice. Don't this is just my thoughts, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my profits at 1840, take them out, wait for, again for the dip to about 1760 and see if it's going up and down. If it is, then I will go buy back in. But if it doesn't hit it hits resistance again, I'm gonna go buy, I'm gonna buy down lower at 1760 or 1600. Now I know the hodl, hodl, hodl people, they always tell you to just hold. It's a way you can do it right now because it's the bull market. But again, if you're trying to make money, if you're just like me, you want day to day, make the money and you want to support Bitcoin and Ethereum at the same time, then do what I just said and you will be just fine. Anyways, don't get caught sitting in the sideline either. So try to be smart with yours and don't just listen to me. Go ahead and do everything I do. I show you most of the stuff. But as we go on, I'll show you more and more how to track and do stuff with Bitcoin, and Ethereum and all the charts and everything. And that's about it. So I will see you all later. And... Bye, beast. Let me get my... Let me get my... Whatever in. Let me get my thumbnail in and show y'all again. If followed the line, the trend is your friend. Peace, beast.